There is a growing need for men and people of color in the K-12 education field. IU South Bend's School of Education is bridging this gap through their underrepresented teacher scholarship. The idea was that we do not have across the country enough um, diversity in our teaching force and it, at our university most of the students who come here, 70 percent, stay in the area and so this scholarship is designed to one, help to increase the, the number of diverse teachers and two, to help keep them in our area. Four students received the scholarship during the first year and the school announced five recipients for the upcoming year. The scholarship helped recipients Celeste Phillips and Roberto Leo pursue their passion in education. I was low on funds and my husband was struggling because I decided to go into mathematics and it took a lot for me to do some of the maths and so um, I found out about it and I applied for it and then they told me I won a scholarship and it was such a giant relief. Um, to me, it enabled me to finish my schooling, get my last year out of the way, and be able to continue on in education. I come from a single mother family, um, so there, and she, I think she went up to fifth grade, um, and then she dropped out of school. She had to take care of her brothers and sisters. So for me, um, it wasn't really expected that I go to college. High school was kind of that point where you make it to high school, you graduate, I'm happy. Um, so I kind of wanted to break that and go beyond. Um, so this scholarship has really given me faith and like, okay, you're meant to do this, you're supposed to do this type of thing. Underrepresented K-12 through teachers include people of minority racial backgrounds and men. I think it's because um, going through school, um, I, never really ha I never had a teacher that looked like me. Um, they were all white, mostly female. Um, so it kind of instills this thing where you're not supposed to be here. Or you, you know, you go through school and you learn these things, but don't come back and don't teach because um, this is not a place for you. Um, so I think there's that, that stigma um, attached to this is a woman's profession. Males just assume they can do, many of them assume they can do better in other professions. Now we, we happen to believe, uh, I happen to believe, that uh, the teacher profession is, is a beautiful profession. It's one of the, if I had to do it over again, I still would go and teach education. So I think uh, uh, we just have to do a be much better job selling the profession. I believe a lot of minorities, college isn't necessary. It's not a given that you're gonna go. And this scholarship helps them see that, hey, I, my parents might not have the money, but there's somebody out there that's gonna help me be what I wanna be and I don't have to settle for something else. Within the South Bend Community School Corporation, around 31% of the students are white, while 86% of the teachers are white. Roughly 97% of teachers in Penn Harris Madison were white, while 99% of Mishawaka teachers were white. The nation mirrors a similar mismatch between the demographics of teachers and students. A study that was released in 2015 by the Albert Shanker Institute showed that about 17% of the teachers in uh, the United States come from underrepresented populations, whereas almost 50% of the students in the schools are from underrepresented populations. So essentially we have a workforce that is anywhere between 70, 80, 90% white and schools that may be 70, 80, 90% non-white. In terms of the Latino and African American uh, our population, they are the fastest growing population. And so when you begin to look at education and having teachers in the classroom, not only being positive role models, but for students to see positive role models. And I just think it's important because teachers can, of color, can connect with other students, but they bring a level of, um, of appreciation into the, uh, the classroom, but also a level of understanding one's culture. This problem is not just um, unique to the South Bend area. And that's the beauty of Indiana University knowing that because we can reach far more people outside of the education. If we can get our model properly, just think the impact that we can turn to other communities and say, guess what, 
This is how it was done. According to a recent John Hopkins University news release, black students who have at least one black teacher between the third and the fifth grades are 29% less likely to drop out of school. This is just one of the many benefits to having a diverse workforce in the education field. If, if we do not have a reflective population, we don't see as much success in, in the classroom. In addition to that, we see more disciplinary problems and more problems with regard to suspension and expulsion. And uh, we, we just believe if the teachers reflect the community at large demographically, we would be more successful. Education is the gateway to everything else, right? And so the younger, the younger students are being exposed to a diversity of opinion, a diversity of history and culture and experience, and frankly, diversity of people, right? The, the more that's gonna benefit them in the future for whatever career they, didn't, they do choose eventually. There are several other benefits to having more diverse teachers in the K through 12 education setting. Studies show that dropout rates and rates of disciplinary action decrease among black students who have black teachers. A research paper authored by New York University sociologists concluded that students of all racial backgrounds preferred their black and Hispanic teachers. From an every student perspective, first of all, in a democracy, we are a nation of different voices. And so the more voices we have represented in the educational community, the more, first of all, that will help to curb stereotypes, to curb the us versus them mentality, to help students to, um, to understand people from all backgrounds. America is, is, a, is, is a laboratory for human relationships. And uh, the teaching and learning process is a place where we can, can sort of facilitate this and develop the framework from, from which we can grow it as Americans. The school offered the underrepresented teacher's scholarship to its first batch of recipients during the 2016 to 2017 school year, but it has already benefited the community. I think that it's been successful because students now have the financial support, but also that they have um, from the School of Education, excellent um, faculty, staff, supporters, encouragers, and so it sends a message not only for IU South Bend but for the community at large that we value education. I'm so proud of the fact that since this scholarship has been started that we have had three male African Americans will be placed in our school system. The dean, donors, and graduates look forward to reaching out to the South Bend community through outreach efforts. Going to the middle schools, bringing students on campus, uh, having them to connect with uh, other teachers, uh, making sure that they have mentors, making sure that they are aware of the contributions that they have made you know, not necessarily them as students, but, you know, the culture, you know, and again, not to have another situation when you see a movie about hidden figures that, when did this happen? Yeah, those are the kinds of things I think that I would see the scholarship doing much more than just giving funds, but really embracing and engaging with the community and with students. Actually help them start seeing themselves as teachers and seeing themselves in the profession, and so this is just one branch of that sort of that whole movement with the idea that not only do we want to help fund students who've already decided to be teachers, but we want to actually help students who are even younger begin to envision themselves as teachers early on so that they, you know, know what steps to take when they get to college. A lot of African Americans or minorities do not go into mathematics and science careers and so I want to be that face that say, hey, with a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work, it is possible and never give up and never let anyone feel like you're never enough to succeed.